Good to have you join us today. And for those who don't know, I'm Paul. I'm the pastor here at Life Connect. And um, I want to tell you, now this may shock you, okay? I want you to maybe sit down. If you're holding anything hot in your hands, maybe set it down. Because uh, I want to make a statement that might shock you. And I don't want you to burn yourself or injure yourself in any way. Okay? Everything that can harm you, is it out of the way? Here's my statement. I believe in aliens. Yep. I believe in aliens. There, you've heard it. Out of my mouth. And right now, some of you want to tune out and think I've lost it. And like, I'm not going back to that church or I'm sending the state to like News 24. But hold on. Let me explain what I mean. I don't mean alien like little green men or anything like that. But I mean it in the biblical sense. And it's biblical, the statement, believe it or not. See, in, in John chapter 15, uh, around about verse 16, Jesus is talking to his disciples and um, saying to his disciples, you know, but because you're different, because you're Jesus followers, the world's going to hate you. And then he makes a statement. He says, but you're not of this world, just as I am not. And it's that way I get the alien, you're not of this world, okay? So um, we're actually aliens walking around here on earth, but in the best possible sense of the word. What Jesus was saying is, because we, we've accepted Jesus, because we're filled with heaven, we're no longer part of this. We're part of something a whole lot bigger. We're part of something beyond earth. Then in chapter 17, Jesus is praying, and this is now when he's praying for his disciples and all those who were left behind. He again, in his prayer, he says to God, like, please protect them from the evil one, for they are not of this world. And he, he says again, you're an alien. But what he was saying is, you know, you're different, and you don't look like anyone else. And you shouldn't be acting like everyone else. And I guess that's where, where we sort of get mixed it up because we mix it up because we, we, we want to be believers. We want to be Christians, but we want to look like everyone else as well. We want to have their kind of fun and join in, in their sort of festivities. But we call it a different life. You see... Someone circulated a teaching now in the last few days by David Pawson, and he said, we are the salt and light. It's not something we act. It's not something we, we, we take out once in a while. It's who we are, salt and light. It is different to what everyone else is. So are we alien? Yes, in a certain sense of the world, word, not really. You're not going to like appear on the front of a magazine like First Living Alien, but you should look different to everyone else, and you should be acting different to everyone else, and you should have wisdom beyond everyone else. You should have insight that others don't have, and giftings other people haven't acquired yet, and the list goes on and on and on, because we are different. When you're in Christ, you're new, a new creation. And um, that's different. It says in 2 Corinthians 3, verse 17, Now the Lord is spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And when we're in that place where we're filled with the spirit, we've got this freedom to, to represent God accurately. And it's a freedom to be different to everyone else. But then we've got to take our mandate seriously. And we can't live, live a life in Christ on, on, on the outer side so we're just, just not sinning. And we're just, just close enough to the world but far enough from Jesus that we can sort of balance the things. You can't live like that. Because you're going to fall one way and it's going to be the wrong way. It's better to live closer to Jesus and to go into the things of Christ. And look here, 
off the bat in the beginning, I didn't like being an alien. Because um, people did look at me funny. Uh, and they thought I acted funny. And I had to make peace with being different. I had to make peace with my life is now different. And when I made peace, I actually became the perfect alien because now I can truly be different to everyone else. I do have moments of weakness because probably more because of my sense of humor that gets at anything else. Um, I sometimes have a like a connection error and I say things I shouldn't say. But m more and more I'm starting to like reflect more of heaven and look like that's actually my home and not here. Yeah. But it's a lifestyle, it's a way of, of living. It is growing in it every single day. And it is just accepting the status of being a child of God. Man, and it's fun. Different, but it's fun. So I encourage you, enjoy being an alien and go closer and closer to God and represent Him more and more. You're going to be richer for it and so will your family. Have a blessed day. Love you a lot. See you on the flip side.